Welcome to Rauda and this time it's something different. It's graphic novel review. Here we have Anthrax Among the Living 40th Anniversary Book. Now, technically speaking, this is comic, but as you know, the kind of a high-end uh, comic books end up being called graphic novels. Now, this came originally out in 2021, so technically speaking, celebrating Anthrax 40 years of trash metal. And I got this in 2022 for another review purpose, and as such, it's a little bit late to the party. Uh, this is an interesting case, because this is also to celebrate uh, Anthrax Among the Living classic album. Technically speaking, this could be that anniversary uh, celebration, because after all, that came out in 1987. So, kind of also 35 years uh, in the making. Interesting era as well. This features uh, 11 stories, it looks like this, this is the hardcover version, and as you can see, it's not exactly any cheap kind of a version. Um, has quite a list of um, crew or creators, uh, including Greg Nicotero, if I remember correctly, as I do, he's from The Walking Dead comic book series, which then again resulted into this blockbusting uh, TV show and games and so on. Then we have a couple of guys from uh, Antrax itself, including Scott Iron. We also have Rob Zombie from White Zombie, etc. So plenty of uh, known people here been done doing this uh, wonderful looking book. Now, if we take a look inside, I will show you uh, a little bit of what's the content here and the contributor list. Here is first forward by Joey Beldonna, the vocalist of Antrax, and then we have these stories and special thank you list. What makes this more interesting is, and I'll show you in a bit why, is I Am The Law comics by Scott Ian, the Antrax main man, we could say, the original guitar guitarist and founder of the band, and I Am The Law, as you might know, is all about Judge Dredd, the really cool future dystopia police character and well he has a judge Dredd comic in this one written by none less than scott iron i'm gonna show you glimpses here and there uh, how the graphic style differs from one story to another and not only graphic style that differs from story to story but also how these are written i would be happy to say this is very consistent in quality but unfortunately, that is not exactly the case. What is quite consistent, even though different from story to story, is the uh, graphic quality. All the uh, comics here are, in my opinion, nicely drawn, very superhero-like, if you will. But, I mean, it's good. I totally enjoyed this kind of colors. Especially the colors are really, really nice and vivid. So this is very, very uh, kind of eye candy in so many ways. But when it comes to those actual stories, well, the quality differs from one story to another quite a bit. But there are good parts, and then there are the ones that are like, why? Now, obviously, uh, it depends how much of an Antrax fan you are, because some of these uh, stories are very much based on the Anthrax lyrics, whereas some of them are more or less inspired by the themes and whatnot. Now, overall, I would say roughly one third is just kind of like waste of my time, and I am coming from a strong Marvel comic and Conan comics, etc. Even Judge Dredd, Spawn, Nemesis, the world kind of a background. So some of these stories are really cool. Some of them are boring and some of them are somewhere in the middle. I'm not going to go into more detail than that. I am just saying this is a beautiful gift if you are an Anthrax fan or if your friend, spouse, whoever is an Anthrax fan. I mean, this is like, why not give it as a gift? This would make sense. This would make me happy as an Anthrax fan. I truly like the band. It's one of my favorite trash metal bands of all time, but the thing here is, like I said, now that I was reading the whole book through, I would say, yes, this was a pleasant surprise, but some of the stories are not exactly very uh, good. 
I mean, like I said, the graphic is beautiful and this is fun to go through, pick up the lyrics here and then, hey, this is about that song, yeah, and then the song kind of starts automatically playing in your head. At least that's what was happening to me. But like I said, some of these stories are not exactly super good. And that's the kind of a letdown here. Now, if only this was the quality of I am the law. Now, I would be super happy. I would be proud of this book because, I mean, that combines two really good elements. Judge Dredd, ching! And also, you know, uh, Anthrax, ching! And I'm like, yay! So, I'm quite divided on this. On the other hand, quality is top-notch. The graphic style, the colors, everything is beautiful. And it has this Anthrax thing going on with lyrics and themes and whatever. But on the other hand, some of these stories are rather forgettable or at least something that you don't want to get back to. I mean, you read them once and you're like, shrug, move on. They are not worth second read. So a little bit divided, a little bit on the edge of a fence. If you're a big Antrax fan, maybe this is worth your money. If your friend, spouse, good relative or whatever is a big Antrax fan and you don't know what to give, go for this one. This is definitely worth your money. And if I understood correctly, this should be available in paperback format as well. Now here on Z2 Comics website, you can see this Anthrax Among the Living graphic novel with a little bit different version. There are versions like standard edition, uh, soft cover or deluxe with picture disc, batches and whatever. And if you scroll down, you will see some of the uh, bonus material, which is available for different versions. So go here for more information about this particular product and what it includes, what kind of comments it has. So in case you want to go into details without reading the actual book, that is the place to go. I will include this one in the description box for information. So um, check it out if you're a fan. If not, I can't really recommend it, but there you go. And uh, this might be also a good place to mention that Antrax Worst Best Video slash Ranking Video is in works. So let's get back to that later on. Take care and see you soon with more stuff coming away.